The Lord gave me this dream. If it is for you, it will serve as confirmation. And in all things, always seek the Lord for confirmation. Um, and yes, this is for a specific group of people. Those who know that they have that entrepreneurship spirit. This word is for you. Hallelujah. God states, I know you have a dream. God is calling you into creation. This will require you stepping outside of your comfort zone. It will require you to think way outside of the box. It will require you to create something no one has ever seen or even heard of. But do not get overwhelmed. Everything you have been through has prepared you for this. It has developed the gift of creativity in you. What I am calling you to will require you to take what is right in front of you and to change it into something unimaginable. Some may think what you are trying to do is foolish, but closed minds can't comprehend anything that is new. You may think this will require a lot, but in actuality, it only requires what you already have access to. This will require you to open your right side of your brain, the creative side. It will require you to use the most unlikely things to open this storehouse. What I am calling you to, you are already familiar with. You watch others all the time living an elevated life, taking risks that have taken off. But you stay on the ground because you listen to the scared voice of fear instead of the bold, instead of the bold voice of faith. Kids are excelling in what you are afraid to do. Kids are allowing their creativity to take flight. While you sit back and look at them in amazement, while you sit back and look at them in awe as if the creator did not bless you with a better gift. The opportunity has been talking to you, but you keep declining it. You will be amazed where one yes to that still small voice can lead you. What would you do if you really believed that I was with you? And also the scripture that the Lord gave me, uh, Deuteronomy 8.18 Remember the Lord your God. He is the one who gives you power to be successful in order to fulfill the covenant he confirmed to your ancestors with an oath. And also 2 Corinthians 1.20 For all of God's promises have been fulfilled in Christ with a resounding yes. And through Christ our amen, which means yes, ascends to God for his glory. Hallelujah. Amen.